Multiple agencies are working to piece together exactly what transpired last night. Our team coverage continues back at the crime scene in North Fargo. We have Valley News Team's Bradford Eric live with the latest information and a rundown of the last nearly 24 hours. Bradford? Right now, this White House being boarded up behind me is the epicenter of the overnight tragic shooting. Earlier today, investigators were combing through this part of the neighborhood, looking for bullet holes, spent shell casings, boot prints in the snow, any evidence that could lead them to why Marcus Schumacher shot at police. It began last night about 7 p.m., and dispatchers say the call came in as a domestic disturbance. Gunshots rang out, and officers on scene requested a roll call, and it was when Officer Jason Mosier did not respond, they knew something was wrong. Well, law enforcement, a, it's a tight family. You know, you, you work the streets with those guys every day, and... Uh, it's a brotherhood and a sisterhood. Throughout the morning, investigators had been focusing on this alleyway where Officer Moser was hit with what police call an unsurvivable wound. Law enforcement says the SWAT team Bearcat is critical in responding to these types of situations, and it likely saved lives. That Bearcat, had it not been on scene tonight, we would have had a lot more uh, cops wounded or killed. That Bearcat was, when I say it was a lifesaver tonight, or last night, it was an absolute lifesaver. But without that equipment, we would have been in very dire straits. Sheriff Laney called today an ugly day and said uh, nationwide, five officers had been killed in the line of duty in the last two days. Right now, this investigation rests with the North Dakota Bureau of Criminal Investigation, who told me earlier today they expect it to take a little over a month to get their final report. And uh, since the passing of Officer Jason Mosier, his funeral preparations are well underway here in Fargo. Reporting live, Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. Thank you, Bradford. Fargo Police.